Okay guys, in this tutorial we're gonna learn how to work through repeaters and we will save that channel. So not just that we will set our radio to work through repeaters, but we will also save and name that channel without usage of PC. So pay attention what's happening here. First, uh, be uh, down there on the screen is our main primary, let's say, channel or side of the screen. So let's get into, we must get into frequency mode, okay, and let's type name of, let's say, uh, our local repeater. In your case, that will be something else, but I'm gonna use local uh, repeater on VHF. So that is receiving frequency from repeater, the place where we listen. We must set that, okay, uh, receiving frequency from repeater. Next thing, let's get into menu, into a sub menu 06. And uh, in my case, I must set takes CTTSS so I can open repeater. Uh, let's do that. Uh, I need to find that uh, CTTSS, which in my case is one, is one, two, three. In your case, that will probably be something else. Uh, someone is talking already one two three and okay and that is set now is that enough no because we must set uh do we have offset and what is the direction of offset now offset is uh, how we get into repeater so that is our transmitting frequency the radio will transmit and get into this repeater uh, how are we gonna do that well get into menu get into sub menu um, 28 sorry 28 and that is offset activation sftd means offset activation so let's activate it in uh, europe uh, uh, in my country i'm gonna uh, use minus because that is the rule around here i don't know for you guys in uh, america do you have uh, offset that goes into plus i don't know but that's the case with me sftd i must go into minus okay so that's one part of the story the next thing is what is the exact value of that offset for vhf that is 600 where i live and for uhf that is 1.600 1.6 megahertz so for vhf i need to get into sub menu 27 offset settings and type 0, 0, 6, 0, 0, 0. Basically, that is uh, that 0 0.6 and confirmation, and that's it. Now, when I press PTT, hopefully, we will get into repeater. And also note that here we do have minus, which means when we press PTT, we will go into minus, and we will see that spe uh, specific frequency we are transmitting on at the moment. Let's do that. So we do have confirmation that everything is fine. Let me repeat one more, more time what we need to do, what you need to do. Uh, set receiving frequency, that is primary you must do. Go into menu, set takes CTTSS if you have it, or um, what was it, DTS, yeah, if you have it. Uh, you need to get that information from your, from your bodies. Once when that is set, go into sub menu uh, 28 and activate offset so this is just activation of offset okay activate that probably it's minus i don't know and then go into sub menu 27 and set value for that offset the difference between transmitting and receiving frequency. Once when you do that, you are good to go. You can test your repeater and you will see minus here. And when you press PTT, uh, the frequency will change to, to frequency where you transmit. Uh, it will be smart idea when you do these kind of things um, to have better antenna or to be on a higher ground or to open squelch because if a repeater is far away maybe it will not open squelch but still you will be able uh, to, to to trigger repeater so uh, here is a smart idea is to open squelch if you are far far away from a repeater of course there will be noise but that's the point so let's see uh, what's happening 
still you have that uh, signal that arise from repeater. So that is my advice to do when you are testing repeaters. Okay. Now, next thing, how to save this channel? Let's do that. Um, we must go into menu again. Some menu was, was 02, okay, memory channels. And now here, uh, all these channels with a line in the middle between CH and number, they are already memorized. Evade them because this is what you have in your uh, system right now. So find number without CH on the left. And actually, I'm going to just type that. Oh, sorry. Get into menu and type 255. This is just testing for testing purposes. You can list up and down with up and down buttons or you can just type uh, free channel and then choose one. 255. Okay. Uh, 255. And let's press OK. And that's it. Our channel is saved. So uh, let's go into channel mode. And see 255. We have saved that channel and let uh, let test will that work. Yeah, it will work. But you don't have a name for that channel. Well, in that case, let's change that to some usable name. Um, okay, let's get into menu and sub menu is 09 change name oh I mean channel name so let's get into that and here we have an interface to type like SMS uh, which will be name for that channel w what will be like uh, I don't know T -E -S test and I don't know where space is probably here I don't know a no that is for uppercase, lowercase. B. I don't know. You just need to be patient with this. Obviously, I'm not patient and I don't know where the space is. Oh, this is kind of comma. Oh, no, comma, but these these brackets. Well, interesting. We do have brackets and, any, uh, and many other symbols. I don't know. Let's just have it as a test. Okay. So, let's press OK. And our channel is saved as test. Stupid name, I'm I know, but you know it it works for testing well purposes. So uh, yeah, now it's on screen. Let's turn off our um, radio to see will those changes be memorized. And there you go. There is a two five five number of channel, and you can roll and find all your other channels. So basically, when you are saving, first uh, get into submenu 02, save your channel at free space, and then go to submenu 09 and change name for that thing, because otherwise it will be written no name on a, on a screen, which is not, not really useful if you have many channels. Um, so yeah, if you have many channels, just go to, um, you know, get programming cable and do yourself a favor. Guys, this was longer video than I uh, than I thought, but hopefully everything is clear. Um, yeah, that's it. Just if you don't understand what's happening, if you're a beginner, go through this video one more time. Uh, also use piece of paper uh, to remember all these sub menus like the zero six. Oops, just a second. Uh, zero six uh, for take CTCSS uh, twenty eight for offset activation, 27 for offset value, um, 0 to, to memorize channel, and what was it, 0 9 to change channel name. You can have that on a piece of paper, but also you can roll around with up and down buttons, it's up to you. Okay, I need to drink a little bit of water, my mouth are dry right now. Thank you for watching, for watching, subscribe if you didn't, and see you in the next tutorial. Ciao, ciao.